Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at Netflix on the daily, weekly time frames using technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, check my website out, sign up, or click down here in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You subscribe guys, we go live sessions, come check us out. If you like what you see, uh, check out StockBookie.com. Alright guys, Netflix, daily chart, $12.93 up, a little bit down after hours. Uh, what was it, 19 million shares traded and 3.98% up on the day. So this one had a rip you rip your face off rally. Even the 200 MA couldn't stop this thing, guys, and that's a huge area. You got this high pivot as well. They pretty much gapped it up on more news and kept this thing going. So someone here, in my opinion, needs higher prices. But for me, I'm looking technically. This one here, we go up to the top. So we're coming into the 618 right around 343.21. All right, that's your first area. Still doesn't mean uh, anything in this name. And we're going in earnings. So right now, guys, I would leave this one alone if you do not have a position. Because at this point, who knows where it's going to go on earnings. With this move up, it could go higher. But who in their right mind would buy up here after a move like this? I mean, who, who knows? I think it's a setup, though, guys. This is huge. 350. You got a gap fill here at 365 and then double tops up here. So watch for that area if you are looking to short this thing. This would have been the first one. They didn't even care. Straight up, guys. No resistance, nothing. So that's the big one there. You have the double top. I'm going to put this at gap fill. And then I'm even going to go a little bit higher. You never know. And then, of course, you got some gap fills and stuff like that. If we get up there, then we'll talk about it. Earnings coming up, it could damn well go 400 and go higher, guys. If it does, we'll be looking to short. If this thing drops, then eventually we'll be looking to go uh, long again. All right. Let's do this here. We had this bottom trend line as well. Um, see, I like it right about there. And it pierced there, went through it, came right back into this channel. And I think there was something else back here, too. Let's go to the bigger time frame. You can see a little bit better. So big, yeah, right there, that pivot. I was going to say, I knew there was something else, but look at that pivot right there, guys. That, that was key to this trade. All right, we had calls. We bought them down here about 4 bucks. They went to $55. We didn't hold them the whole way. 4.06 or 07, we bought them at 290 January 18th, guy. They went to 55 today, maybe even higher. I just stopped looking at this point going, oh, my gosh. They went how high? But anyways, uh, great trade there, but coming into some great resistance now. Here's your upper trend line there. So you can see a little bit better. I'm going to pull a little bit further over. But a great channel, guys. I mean, this is the end of the row, and it comes right back in on earnings. I don't know. After this run-up, I, you know, me personally, 50-50 shot on earnings. I think I buy a couple puts, one put, two puts. Give yourself some leeway, you know, a couple hundred dollar bet. If you can't afford that, do a hundred dollar bet. This could damn well go right back to 233. They're really hyping this thing up. I don't know why, but uh, coming into some good resistance coming up, guys. I, at this point, I would wait for 380, 400. It could go to 425. And man, it, it even went through the 50 MA. Where's that at? 324? Let's line it up with the 200 MA. 320. Yeah, so even at 324, you had good resistance on the weekly, and it just ripped right through it. So look for that area. Look for up here. Earnings, I believe, next week. So at this point, I would stay away. If you have these calls in here and you bought down here or somewhere, anywhere down here at this point, take some profits because this thing could click and just take you out. Especially if you got like February's and you're riding them. Just get out, take the money. If it pops or drops, buy more calls or short or just uh, buy puts up here. Or even short calls maybe if it goes up. Or maybe short puts if it goes down. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how the play goes. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Just be careful if you're trying to get this one or trying to short small positions. You know how many people were short in here, short in there, short in there, short in here, short in there? I did. I, I, I. This one's just tearing heads off right now. I mean, 231 gosh, $107 move. $100, like $10 move, guys. Yeah, 110 Unbelievable. That's crazy stuff there, guys. CMG, too. Another out-of-control stock. But don't forget to subscribe, guys. Right down here in the bottom right-hand corner, we'll do live stuff where you guys call out stocks. We pull them up. We try to find a good trade. You know, this thing comes into an area. We'll do an intraday trade in and out. We'll scalp. Or we might take a day trade. Maybe take a couple-day hold. Swing trades, whatever, guys. Stockbookie.com. Check us out. If you like the live stuff, sign up. It's 30 bucks a month. 
and we take it from there. All right, guys, thanks again for stopping by, watching the video. God bless. See you on the charts.